Eckstein, who from Baker West Dye Marketing and Public Relations, and she is our winner of the Bachelorette contest for the Unhitch contest that we have. So, uh, Mandy, why don't you tell a little bit of the story behind <laughs> getting involved in Unhitch? Well, first of all, I just want to say it's the only thing I've ever won. And, um, you know, at first I didn't even know about the nomination. I have a friend who... <laughs> no longer your friend. <laughs> <laughs> thought she would have some fun. And uh, she did the nominations and even, you know, my original answers. And what was funny about that is quite a few people said, but it sounded just like you. Mm -hmm. So then I got the, the notification that I actually won this thing. And at first I thought, I'm really embarrassed. But now I've just decided to have a lot of fun with it. It's kind of fun to be 42 and beat out all the 20-somethings and be like the bachelorette. Yes. <laughs> and you said you're going to be wearing a, a sash and a yes, tiara. Yes. Because um, I was thinking in, in some of my friends in my social group, I may never live this down, so I've decided to steal their thunder and I'm going to go buy my own tiara and make a sash and walk around with it. Because I figure when I walk into the room announcing it and having fun and, you know, having fun and making fun of myself, they can't do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to steal their thunder. Okay. So, yeah. When you I guys see, see me, I'm going to have a sash. I see. So do you prefer prefer meeting people like the traditional way, like face to face at chamber events, or do you prefer doing the online dating thing like Facebook and Match.com and all of that? You know, I don't because you know being older, like the Match.coms and things like that, it just seemed like there was social stigma attached to it for me. You know, my generation, I hate to use that word, but but now now I'm not really opposed to it anymore. So many people have had really good luck with some of the social media and the online sites and things like that. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet. Um, and I, you know, I'm a little bit afraid to, you yeah. know, but we'll see what happens, you know. Maybe I'll become like a celebrity around here and get some hot dates off of this. Yeah, <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're gonna ask too. Do you think you'll get a lot of dates after being on the cover? And I don't know, I think growing up here and coming back and, and working here for so long, I have it in my head that I either know them or know of somebody who knows them. So I, I kind of think there, may, there aren't a lot of eligible bachelors, you know, in my age category around here. But maybe I'll be surprised, you know. Mm -hmm. You kind of get that idea in your head that there's not a whole lot of here in Lake County, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, okay. okay. Do you meet a lot of people at the chamber events? Because you said on your, your answers that you, you participate in a lot <laughs> of chamber. My answers. Yes. <laughs> I do. With the clients and things like that, we always have to be out with them, you know, we're around at like a lot of city council meetings and things like that. So I'm out and about a lot, but it tends to be more work oriented. And so most times, even when I'm out, I'm in a work mode and not really thinking of it as social, you know, because I've got a job to do. Yeah. So, um, and that could be also why I'm not meeting somebody because I'm not either giving off that vibe or I'm not really there for that reason. So, you know, again, maybe this whole thing will change my life. Yeah. <laughs> So do you think dating is more important than career, or dating should come first to career, or...? I, I think, you know, for a long time my kids were younger, and we were building the business, and so it was tough, you know, it was tough to have the time. Um, now I think I finally have a little more time. Um, what's so hard, I think, yeah, it is, it is hard to find the time, you know, between working and kids and networking and all the other things you have to do to make time for actual dating. Sometimes it seems to me it would be easier to just have a relationship and you're already off on it because it integrates into your life and you're already going rather than making the time to have to, to do it. But it is something you have to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And it is it is hard. I don't care what your age is. Dating is hard. Yes, it if is. If you're dating, you know that. <laughs> Dating's just hard. Mm -hmm. And it's it's hard to be on and it's hard to do that. You know, like Eddie Murphy was making a joke years and years ago about you send your representative, you know, instead yeah. of yourself. So it's hard. I don't care how old you are. Dating's hard. Are you are you a big believer in first impressions? That first impressions yeah. kind of determine how yeah. you feel about them afterwards. It is and it, because I don't have a lot of time. Yeah, and it's not even so much for me too. You know, physical appearances. You know, um, I think especially too as you get older, maybe you move some away from some of that. But mm -hmm. you know, yeah, definitely the common interest. Um, so that when you do have time, you're doing something that you both enjoy doing and things like that. But I'm a big believer in first impressions, and and maybe you know I cut out a lot of good prospects because I'm pretty cut and dry, you know. Mm -hmm. I used to, like, 60 seconds, I think I can tell, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe that's why I'm still unhitched. Yeah. <laughs>